All right, starting Diamond Dust Zone. Now, welcome back, guys. Woohoo! Yes, that is an uncontrollable little. It's automatic. I mean, it's automated. Whoops. These spike things here. You can spin dash to get rid of them, just like that. That's how you make this level a lot easier, is you get rid of all those things as you go. And that thing shoots ice, and that snowman explodes into a snowball death. Let's see what's up here real quick. Because you can climb up these things by high jumping as high as possible and let yourself slide forward. Ah, it's just knuckles. And we gotta go back down here. Okay. And, oh, no, icy floor. See, wherever there is a shiny surface like that, yeah, there's gonna be ice, and it's gonna hurt if there's something by you. Yeah, so, yeah, just keep jumping on ice, and you shouldn't have any trouble. Remember, break through those things everywhere that you see them, just in case. You know, just to clear the pathway. Oh, you know what, I'll just leave that, because I know the last couple enemies are here, and this upper area here. Like, there's one over here. It's a penguin. Ah! And yeah, I'm gonna break these right real quick here and just like that. Yeah, okay. Die, penguin, die! Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. When you uh, get turned into an icicle like that, you can just jump right out of it. Just keep pressing the jump button, you'll break free of it. And all fl five flickies are here. That's 16, I mean, 1,600 points for the last flicky. And sp spin dash, as you might expect. How did I miss that shield? <laughs> Well, whatever, and uh, don't even bother with that snowman, just hit the spring and let yourself fly across. And this will automatically freeze you, don't worry, it's supposed to happen. This is automatic, bouncy, 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 that's the bouncy song, and somehow you break apart right there, I mean, you break free over there. I don't know, maybe there's something in this little alcove over here, but you can't go back. I don't know why you can't go back, but you can't go back. Oh, there's my flicky, okay. And there should be a penguin, yep, penguin over here, another penguin over here, gotta love penguins. They are, are very well-dressed birds, and let's see if there's anything down here. There probably isn't. There, oh, wait, there is something. Oh, there's tails. Do not need you tails. By the way, if you go all the way to the bottom there, those are all icicles, and they will hurt you. They are spiky. <laughs> By the way, you cannot spin dash off this because you don't have enough traction to start a spin dash, and that was my fault right there. <laughs> wait, I got... I got four, okay. I was a little worried there. And it's number five. What's up here? Uh, I should, emblem? Yeah, there is. And there we go. Let's just grab the rest of the rings for the heck of it. Yeah, and down the portal. Whee! Next area, spin. Woohoo! And I'm pretty sure I regained control here. I'm gonna go around this corner like that. There's a whole bunch of rings here. And I'm just gonna go back like that. Not that hard to do. Yeah, just to show you how the ice physics work. <laughs> um, okay, I recommend triggering these oh, triggering these snowmen all at once. Like just jumping across them like that if you can. That's definitely a wise way to go. And I'm not even gonna bother with these spikes because I won't be back here. And yeah, snowmen. Very dangerous. And by the way, there's a spring hidden underneath the snow. So turn it into snowballs and get your spring out. And whoa! Do not like the snowmen that shoot in all directions. Actually, it's more like eight directions, which is all the directions of the eight of uh, the D-pad. So that's not entirely untrue. <laughs> whoa! The best thing you can do for those snowmen is, as soon as you see them on screen, is to go ahead and attack them right away. Just you know, as soon as you see them, jump at them. And then you're, you'll, there's a very good chance that you'll kill it. You know, if you use that low baby hop that I showed you how to do. Oh, there's extra life over here. That's kind of, that's very well hidden there, game. <laughs> but it is kind of hard to get because that little hill there. It's kind of silly. But yeah, that's the end of Diamond Dust 1. <laughs> well, this is going pretty well. <laughs> Cha-ching! Act 2 coming up. Rings and there's penguin already right off the bat, and there's another penguin. Yeah, these those snowmen never ever yield any flicky, so you do not need to break up the snowmen. By the way, that emblem is not worth getting in the very least, because you have to go through a whole load of stuff to get back over here like that, and you need all five flickies to get that emblem, if I'm not mistaken. Woo! See, if I would have jumped at that snowman right away, he wouldn't have started shooting. And when he starts shooting, that's when things start to get chaotic. And there's another penguin. And that's number five. Wow. That was a quick first part. <laughs> and 
And next area, rings. Very nice. I highly doubt I'll be able to accumulate 100 rings because I've already got enough lives, as you can see here. So I'm not really collecting rings like I was in the first uh, part of the stages. Woo! And yeah, you have to pop the snowman twice. Well, actually, I, I shouldn't say that not all the snowmen don't uh, yield results. I mean, yield flickies. Yeah, that's the best way to pop those, by the way. I forgot to mention. And there, I believe Tails is over here. So I'm not going to break through those spikes to get to the other side. But anyway, yes, these snowmen right here don't give any flickies. This is the truth here. Though they just explode. But the snowmen that shoot, they give flickies. And, well, I, I guess they both kind of shoot, but this one that has a gun on its head. Yeah, those shoot. And those give you flickies. <laughs> and that uh, ring should be right over here. Yep, there it is. And next area coming right now. And auto stage, or I should say an auto portion of the stage. These are all these nice, they always bounce you around all over the place. <laughs> I don't know why. Normally I don't like ice stages, but Diamond Dust Zone I think is really well designed for a 3D ice stage. Oh no, 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 no Knuckles, no Knuckles. <laughs> Go away Knuckles. You could stay in your corner hidden away from Sonic. You wouldn't want me to have a special stage anyway. And there's a little dead end here with a shield, but I've already got a uh, blue shield. Uh, I think there's an emblem down here if I'm not mistaken. Um, careful, yep, there it is. And jump up, jump up! Yeah, there's nothing else but an emblem down here, so work your way to the right side to cross this river of death. It's like a whitewater rafting hedgehog style, I don't know how else to put it. That's the only logical way I can put it. <laughs> and whoa! He shot me. <laughs> and up here, yeah. Springs are always hidden underneath these things. I don't know what they think they're concealing, but whatever. <laughs> And there's number four. Number five should be right. Woo! That was a close one. I'm playing a little recklessly, but it's oh, I didn't get all the flickies before I went through the ring, but it, it's fine. And there's the last flicky, and here is the portal. Ah, and the boss is coming up very shortly. I think I'm gonna cut the camera right when the boss stage starts. Yeah, Diamond Dust Zone Act Three. Okay. Now oh, I'll have enough time to do the boss and paste it on to the last part. All right, when the bot, when Eggman, or I should say Robotnik, comes close to the ground, he will start uh, firing those little ice ball. I mean, those puffs of air that'll try to freeze you. And he also drops snowmen every once in a while. So, whoops, I did not jump high enough there. I should say I didn't hit him at the height. Whoa, I'm really screwing up now. I did not hit him. Uh, when he was at his low point. And remember, save the rings that are just lying around on boss stages, because you might need them later. And the longer this boss goes on, the easier it becomes. Even though that he gets faster, it still becomes a lot easier, because he has less of those things to... Uh, you know, less of the shooter things surrounding him to protect him. I'm gonna grab one ring, and one ring only. Oopsie daisy. Ah, oh, no, no, just stick of my head. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, I'm low on rings. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, I should still be able to kill him if I just play smart and not stupid. Yeah, you know, like that. Alright. Just play it smart, PK Gam. Play it smart. <laughs> this boss is not hard in the least. <laughs> look, how, look how aggressive he's getting, though. And he's gonna drop to the ground, and up. Oh, that's it. Alright. Boss done. <laughs> yeah. Not that hard at all, just gotta have a nice rhythm going. You know, you can't play stupid like I was doing. Just wait for him, just make it, make the snowman explode, and then just wait for him to drop down to the ground. Alright, next stage coming up in the next part. See you guys later.